In the annals of Kung Fu history, no other style has captured the imagination, like drunken boxing. So it's no surprise then that Yen Wu Ping would use this style for his two-punch knockout that would finally make Jackie Chan a star and be revered over 40 years later. Join me as I train in this elusive style and study the immortal drunken master. Welcome to Jake on Film, exploring the outer edges of the film universe. Joy Kun, or Drunken Fist, is an ancient art traceable to the Shaolin Temple and uses a succession of bobs and weaves to deceive your opponent. It was first mentioned in The Water Margin, circa 1500, a classic Chinese novel akin to the Canterbury Tales, as the character Wu Song is a practitioner. I've been given exclusive access to the art's most famous proponent. He's going to put me through my paces. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So Chan, or Beggar So, was a Chinese folk hero who was first shown on screen in the black and white Wong Fei Hong movies with Quan Tak King. Remember him? He would actually get drunk, which would enhance his drunken boxing skill and make him more powerful. He became synonymous with training Wong Fei Hong. Enter Yen Wu Ping. He decided to cast a 24-year-old Jackie Chan as a young, rambunctious version of Wong Fei Hong. After we were introduced to our villain, hitman Jim T. Sam, Korean super king legend Huang Jiang Li, we find Wong Fei Hong being a disruptive fool under the tutelage of his useless teacher, idiot extraordinaire Dean Shek. After disrespecting his father's friend's daughter, and beating up a rival school student, his dad sends him to train with his uncle, who just happens to be the legendary Beggar So. This time, played by Yang Wu Ping's dad, Simon Yen. The Eight Drunken Gods. Lu the drunkard with inner strength. Lee, the drunken cripple with a powerful right leg. Jun, the drunkard holding a pot in his arms. Lan, the drunkard, with a sudden deadly waste attack. Chan, the drunkard, with a swift double kicks. So, the drunkard, with a powerful throat lock. Drunken flute player with powerful wrists. Miss Ho, the drunken woman, flaunting her body. Yes, you guessed it. After some harsh training, being humiliated by the villain, and beating up the stick king, Jackie must use a drunken fist. To finally defeat Jim T. Sam after a hit on his dad is picked up by the rubber legged one. The only way to watch this film is Masters of Cinema edition from Eureka. 
And of course, the only way to get it is from terracotta distribution. It's an amazing site full of Japanese, Korean, and of course, the Jackie Chan classics. Now, the best thing about this release is the fact that it's got the original Cantonese soundtrack, not the Mandarin mono that it used to have, which is amazing. Of course, it's got the classic English dub, talking about Freddie Wong, Thunderleg, and all that, which is great. But also, it's got an interview with Jackie Chan, in which you can't remember anything about the film. Okay, it was over 40 years ago. And of course, our good friend Tony Rayons rambles on in a great little segment. It's cracking looking, 4K release, as well as being a DVD and Blu-ray. But the best thing about it is, if you get it, JOF 10, you get a cheeky little discount. Don't say, we don't do anything for you. Beggar So said I need to learn how to drink, so here I am. Drunken Master mainly stands out due to Jackie's physical ability. It's pure comedic timing, and it's almost sadomasochistic at times, the thing he's put through in terms of the training sequences and the long, drawn-out fight scenes, which are truly brilliant. It's also great because of a bonding scene between master and student, in which both of them talk about the poet Li Bai and the immortal of wine, as he's known. You didn't expect that from a kung fu film, did you? But it really brings them together when he first learns the drunken style. It's also great to see the Eight Immortal style put together on screen with that great soundtrack booming uh, in the background. Apparently, according to Jackie and director Yen Wu Ping, they just made that style up. But even though it is a form of the Taoist part of the martial art. Yes, the silliness is dulled up to 11 at times, but with that comedic presence, a unique style, bringing it all together, there's no doubt, is an all-time classic. And cheers to that. Is off the screen, almost sadomasochistic in me. <laughs> what are you talking about? We haven't, you haven't seen it. A shack somewhere. No, yeah, no, no. It's 1978. Yeah, you haven't seen it. It's just drunken, a more drunken star. Back in the dubbed version, because you didn't really pick up on these things. You just all it really was about was the action. But it's a bit more going on. It's not just the action. You're, you're, you're talking rubbish. You haven't even seen it. But it's so as well. He's all, I mean, some of the kicks he does, it, even though it's not ridiculous, 70s hair is the most ridiculous hair you've ever seen, but it, I'll tell you what, he is amazing. What a bad guy. I mean, is there a better bad guy? And he's like, Drunken Master is so amazing. Bigger so said I need to learn how to drink. So here I am. <laughs> 